Hey guys, Andy from Backbone Adventures, uh, HV and Jeep Rental Company in Estes Park, Colorado. Today I'm going to talk to you about damages. A lot of people ask us uh, how we handle that. Um, we're kind of unique in the way we do that. Uh, a lot of companies, most companies out there, uh, they're going to charge you for the damaged parts. They're going to charge labor, which can run anywhere between $100 and $200 an hour, and they're going to charge you downtime. So basically, the full rental price for a full day, which can be around $800 bucks per day until it's fixed. We don't really do that. Uh, basically, all I do is we just charge for the parts themselves. Uh, so whatever our cost is, and to check that out, if you like, you can go to RockyMountainATV.com and uh, you can look at the Can-Am or Polaris OEM parts and whatever that price is on there, that's what we charge. Uh, a little bit more because we have to pay for tax and uh, a little bit of shipping. So, uh, Otherwise, that's all we do. We try and people treat people fairly. Um, but let me just explain it to you. If you're going to ride one of these machines, uh, especially a turbo machine, and you're going to basically drive around, I don't mean to sound insulting, but if you're going to drive around uh, like an idiot, going crazy, no control of yourself at all, uh, especially doing donuts, drifting around corners, that's where we see accidents. And then we end up with a uh, machine that gets uh, road rash along the side. I'm going to turn this camera around and show you a couple of things. So you see on this machine here, you know, if it's, if it's going to go, if, if you tip this thing over on its side, uh, we're going to charge for the plastic. Um, some people don't understand that. They don't care. They're like, hey, it's just scratch. What's the big deal? Well, I don't like to send out scratch machines. I give you a new looking machine. I want a new looking machine back. At the very least, I have to take that plastic off. Because oftentimes we'll find something else inside that's busted. You know, it might be a, a frame brace of some sort up underneath the fender or uh, behind the door. Uh, you know, something that can, you know, bolts, bolts that can be loose. So we have to take all that plastic off anyways check everything out to make it sure it's safe to go out another time uh, so and we're going to replace that plastic again give you a new looking machine want a new looking machine back that's all there is to it that's just what you're going to have to deal with if you're going to go out there and wreck something uh, you just have to understand that uh, if you're not cool with that i suggest you well first of all i suggest you don't wreck you just listen to what we have to say we're going to tell you uh, not to drift around corners and do donuts and if you don't do that stuff you're going to be fine if you do that stuff most likely you're not going to be fine and something's going to happen you're going to tip over in that case you're going to you're going to pay for some damages and, and, and you know you just need to uh, own up to it and and pay and again if you don't like that don't ride this can be a very fun and safe thing to do you know 100 people go out and ride, 99 of them do just fine, have a beautiful, amazing day, still live on the wild side, have a great time. But one of those people is going to not listen to anything we have to say, and they're going to go batshit crazy out there, and they're going to tip one of these things on the side, and they're going to end up paying for some damages, and that's just the way it is. Now, some people might freak out a little bit. You know, this rear fender back here, this is like 360 bucks, and then you have a fender flare here that's like $50. You know, this thing goes on the side, you know, it's a rear fender, it's a fender flare, it's a door skin, it's a front fender, and could be a roof. Uh, it's going to be different parts. And we're going to replace a lot of stuff because, again, we get you a good looking machine, we want a good looking machine back. I don't like renting crap to people that looks like it's been rolled 50 times. That's not cool. Uh, so that's how we operate. Last thing I want to tell you, if you are going to come and not listen to us and just do whatever you want to do and drive like a crazy person, please, for the love of God, take the passengers out of the equation. Just get them, get them out of the machine. Go get your jollies and do your thing. Now, every accident we have happens on the passenger side. Uh, if I have 100 accidents, 99 of them, if not 100, are going to be done on the passenger side. Why? Well, it's because the driver is here, and I know my camera's backwards, is here in the driver's side, away from the passenger side. So they feel safe drifting around a quarter that way or doing a donut in that direction because if it goes over on the side, they're away from the danger. Now that sounds kind of crappy, but that's just how it is every single time. So if you're that person and you're gonna do something like that, please take your passengers out of the equation, especially if it's, if it's women and children. And it doesn't even matter. Even, it doesn't matter who it is. Take them out of the equation. Get them out of the vehicle. Go out there. Get your jollies. Do your thing. You're probably going to wreck. But it's just on you. 
and there's nobody getting injured. That's our main thing. We don't want to see people getting injured. Uh, that sucks. Uh, so, you know, please just do that. Outside of that, again, you can have an amazing day out there, a really good time, and not have any problems whatsoever. Uh, just please listen to, you, to us when we, when we show up. We ask you not to do that stuff, and you'll have a great day. That's how we do things. I hope that information helped. I hope I was thorough enough with it. Um, we'll see you soon.